My name is Richard Curtis. I'm the managing director of Andridge International, and we organise a series of conferences. The Tile event, which stands for Trends in Technology, started more than 20 years ago in Maastricht. And the conference has always been interested in the crossover between different types of leisure attractions, which could be purely educational, such as museums and science centres, through to theme parks, uh, brand centres, and all that type of area. It's a, the types of venue that people go in their leisure time, either to be entertained, or to be educated, or a combination of both. There was no events which were talking about breakthroughs in, in innovation for the leisure market. And um, so we started on the technology side. But very quickly, we learned from our speakers that uh, technology is purely a facilitator to tell a good story or to engage people. And therefore, that's the reason why we concentrated more on trends, which might be in technology, could be in design, but also trends in the market, demographics, cultural differences as uh, the, the, the leisure experience has changed. Uh, about uh, uh, three years ago, four years ago, uh, we had a tile event up at Lake Como at Villa Erba on the lakes, uh, on the shores of the lake there. And uh, we've come to France this time because um, we've got to know the, the, the Forensic Convention Bureau who have um, said that um, they would like to invite us to come here. Mm -hmm. And we obviously, Florence being a great cultural uh, area with um, museums which are leisure attractions. We wanted to bring some of these new ideas to, to Florence as well. Well, um, I personally have found this a fascinating conference because of the, the speakers we've got, but it's very challenging and uh, I don't like conferences where people are just spoken to and nobody reacts. What we try and do is get a a reaction between various people in the audience and all the people who come to a tile are professionals. Either they are suppliers providing technology or design or they're operators of museums and uh, uh, theme parks and other types of leisure attraction. And this particular year we wanted to uh, challenge people um, so that they came up with innovative and new ideas and I was particularly pleased by uh, James Bradburn's uh, presentation on the Palazzo Strozzi, which matches exactly what Tal is trying to do, because he's not a, a traditional museum. He's trying to new, use new techniques and new ideas to engage new audiences. And um, we found that was replicated through virtually all the presentations as well. My, my personal comment is that um, I think without exception, everybody who came here has really enjoyed and got a lot out of these two days. And it's not just the, the conference uh, and the discussions during the conference, but also the discussions outside the conference. We had a lovely dinner at uh, Palazzo Gardi. We had a wonderful reception um, at the Palazzo Medici Riccardi. And these social events and the lunches are probably one of the main success stories over Tal over the years, is that over these areas that people meet each other, they get to know each other, they get to know about what drives them, and that's where the best business relationships come out of. And I've seen dinners 20 years ago which have produced big long-term relationships between people because yes you can do all your research on the internet you can find out about products and, and ideas but it's nothing like actually meeting people together and equally well if you're hearing about something it's nice to also be able to see something so we have a small exhibition where there's a few companies who are, who are showing some new ideas and products well, we, we, um, Tile is, is the brand, and we've done what we call Tile Zones, and we started Tile Zones really as a, a one-day seminar. Uh, tile Forum tends to be 
slightly mm. longer, and this has been a tile forum. And the next tile zone will be a seminar that we're going to uh, hold in London. It'll be the seventh tile zone London, and it'll be in March next year. And at this uh, event, it'll be a one-day event with a, a social activity around mm. it. And it'll probably be again at the London Transport Museum, which is a wonderful museum in Covent Garden Piazza in the mm -hmm. centre of London. Um, very interesting museum. Um, and we get about uh, 70, 80 to 100 people for that. And that's March next year. There are, is a possibility of doing something at the time of the Olympics, but that is something I can't talk about too much at the moment because that is a sort of British government initiative, but it's in this market as well. And, and also we're thinking about doing a, a, a tile type event in India, which is obviously um, potentially a huge market and they're interested in, in new leisure attractions for mm -hmm. the growing middle class particularly, which is fan growing fantastically fast. Uh, and also they have a lot of museums which probably need more interpretation, new ideas. Um, as far as business is concerned, India is a challenging market, um, but it's one of the, the future future markets. Well, when we first started Tile, we, we started in Maastricht in the Netherlands, and that was a fabulous location, and it worked very well there. But we found after, after the fifth edition, we decided to move because we felt it was too easy to keep going back to the same location. Mm. And what we wanted to do was to take people to a new environment. And so we've taken the tile to Berlin, to London, to Strasbourg. We even did a tile conference in Singapore on the, on the Asian market. And um, we feel that uh, by moving it, it tends to get a, a, a new challenge. Uh, sometimes it's a bit of a challenge for us to, to move it as well because yeah. we're learning about new markets at the same sure. time. I personally have enjoyed meeting new people. There are some people who have been before, like the, uh, the new, new Science Centre in Trento. They've been to Tal before and they actually rang up and said, when will the next Tal be? Because you know we have this new Science Centre. Uh, but we've met people we haven't met before. Um, as far as volume is concerned, we would like more people, frankly, and we probably have got a lot to learn as far as actually uh, getting the message over. But we found that uh, people who are receptive to Tile and what it offers are the people who want to be innovative, want to come up with new ideas. Uh, as in any industry, there are many people who are just quite happy to doing what they've done. They may mm -hmm. be being a family park, which has been run for the last hundred years. And maybe they're not interested in, uh, in what's happening in other markets, but we found the ones that have been successful are the ones that are open to new ideas. And so it's trying to engage with these uh, uh, institutions.